Yeah, um, fun game, crazy game. Made it harder than what it needed to be, but glad we were able to get the win. Derek, this is the biggest upset of this season. Do you think it sends a message to the league or a message to you guys, you know, that, that things can get better? Yeah, I mean, this is a good, a good game to build off of. Um, like I said, we made it harder than what it needed to be. But at the end of the day, we show resil uh, resiliency as a team, um, fight, and um, was able to battle back and get a win. You guys go down two touchdowns, just about two and a half minutes left. When did you kind of feel things were kind of turning uh, when you had a shot? Yeah, that's a tough situation um, because, you know, they scored two really quick off of, uh, you know, mistakes by us. Um, and then, you know, but we still had a little bit of time, so we just knew we were getting the drives, be able to uh, – Extend drives and get the ball in the end zone. That we give us a chance, and that's what we did. What well, to like that end, in? I mean, you guys got down the field really quickly. Yeah. Afterwards, what what kind of galvanized you there? Well, credit to all those guys that were in. Um, Will did a great job. Uh, you know, um, getting guys uh, set up and finding guys who are open. Guys did a great job getting open and making plays. Tajay did a great job having some explosive plays. Um, you know, that's just a, a team effort all around. What was it like coming in here after the game? Oh, it was great. Great energy. Great win. Everybody mm -hmm. was happy. Um, you know, it was. Uh, a swipe across the forehead, you know, because you know it was a, uh, it was a, it was a close one and doing what it needed to be. But it's glad that we got the win against a good team. Yeah, Harold, what Harold like? said it was gonna, it was a little bit like an old Titans win, you know, one where nobody was expecting you guys to come in, kind of, kind of pulled one out. Yeah, definitely it was, uh, you know, just good energy. Um, you know, it was good to have that energy back. Uh, guys were just excited. It was a great win for us and great. Uh, Great win to build off of. What After do you want what the fans to know about this football team? You got a lot of fans that love this football team. What do you want them to know about this team? Yeah, I mean, we just want to keep fighting. We ain't going to give up. Uh, I know a lot of people have written us off, um, and, um, you know, you know, we understand, you know, the, the, the reason why. But at the end of the day, we still got football to play. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep believing one another and keep playing until the uh, the, the – the clock hit zero zero and see where we at. After whatever happened on that pitch, how good did it feel to dive into the end zone and, and know you had the go ahead score? Yeah, um, yeah, that was a fortunate situation, but glad we were able to, you know, get back and put ourselves in position to for me to be able to score. They did a great job getting the ball down there, driving it down there. I just had to get in the end zone. I'm glad that all the blocking was set up for me to get in there. What did you learn about Will on those last two drives? Uh, he, he's resilient. Um, you know, uh, anybody else would probably get flustered, but being a rookie, um, stepping up, being, being a leader, and just, um, you know, having that will and um, – um, the name's Will, but <laughs> but still ha having that drive to still believe and um, to, to lead us um, it just speaks a lot about his character, and uh, he did a great job today. Did it surprise you that he had that composure even in such a tough situation? Uh, no, not really. Um, no, Will's an intense guy, so – I know. I I knew he'd be ready for the moment, and he showed it. What do you think most people thought, thought would happen tonight? What do you mean? Uh, people watching on TV see Titans, Dolphins, Monday Night Football. I think you know that answer too. <laughs> that you know it would be a, a different story than how it ended. But glad we were able to be on the other end of it. With Will, how have you seen him grow between that line of being aggressive but also being smart and making a play? Um, I think. I mean, you've seen it to, tonight, and I, I think he he showed it. Um, you know, since he's been starting, he's been growing, and I think he showed his uh, characteristics and his abilities tonight. Is that the Thanks. best catch of your life? Say it again? Is that the best catch of your life on the kind of dive into your back play? Uh, probably in the NFL, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just glad I was able to secure it and, you know, get the drive, get the first down and keep the drive going. So. You out with the young, young DeAndre Hopkins? Say it again? Was that the young DeAndre Hopkins? Yeah, vintage hop, man. I don't know if Hopkins still got that anymore, man. <laughs> I mean, you know. It is what it is. What's your feeling like when you got it down two touchdowns, two and a half minutes left, and how did you manage to turn it? Um, just keep playing, keep trusting ourselves, and um, just keep fighting. Did Will you say he's gradually gaining confidence in you with those, you know, you only live once type throws. How do you feel that relationship is coming along? I think it's coming along well. I think Will is out there, you know, making making some good choices. Um, you know, he's not, not having any turnovers. I think that. That's all you can ask for from a young quarterback is go out there and play his game. That deep, that deep reception that you had, the 45-yarder, can you just kind of take us through it, just the concentration it took to gather as your response? Um, I knew Will was going to give me a chance to make a, make a play, and that's what I did. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of stuff happens fast. So I really can't go in detail. I just know I came down with the ball. The way that two drives, kind of everything came together. What, what was it about those two drives that were so effective? I was playing team ball. Did you learn anything about your team tonight? No, not not anything that I already knew. Everybody in this locker room is going to keep fighting. Down to the wire. We hey, talked to you before the... about holding 
you and Will holding each other to a high standard. How has, has he kind of lived up to that? Uh, man, you know, he, he has a lot of growing to do. And, uh, obviously, we can help him. What do you want the fans to know about this football team? Man, I don't think I really want to give a PSA about this football team, uh, but you guys seen today. It's way better, man. Everybody come back to the locker room happy. You know, everybody played a part in that win. And just the whole time, I'm just sitting there praying, praying, praying. So, you know, you got to, first thing you got to do is just thank God, you know, to get in this position and also, you know, uh, just for the outcome that did happen. Those last two drives, everybody was involved. Big plays, 15 points in two drives. In that um, just you know, just us being together, um, us understanding that we put ourselves in that position to be down 15 points, so we had to fight back. So um, I mean, what well, just to be down? I mean, so we just you know we had to fight back, and we wasn't we wasn't going out without a fight. Your your heavy involvement in the passing game was that something by design, like they told you it was going to happen this week, or is it just the, the way things flow? You know, like uh, I just I never go like into the weeks like getting my hopes up. I just you know. I'm there, I'm there. I ain't going to say I'm there, I'm there, but like, you know, I'm here to, you know, make plays. And I guess that, that's what just came about tonight. You know, just, it just hit me when I was open. It just hit me on the check downs, and, you know, we made something happen. As far as your route running and, and, you know, the ability to catch the ball and make somebody miss, is that something that, you know, you've always had and you worked towards that? Did you do that a lot in school? Yeah, of course, like in high school, like I was, uh, I was like half and half, so I did slot receiving, I did running back. So, you know, I kind of it kind of faded a little bit because um, I was, you know, the primary back in Tulane. I get 25 carries and probably two throws behind the line of the game. But uh, of course, like that's something like you know your craft. You got to work on it every day if you want to, you know, if you want to be good in this league. But if you want to be great in this league, you got to you know work on it day in and day out. And then speaking of working day in and day out, we see you. You know, when we're out there after practice, we see you, Chig, you guys are spending extra time. You feel like what happened today, like that's the result of that. Man, that over-the-shoulder catch, man, that, that, that's come from, like, me getting on the judge, like, over-the-shoulder balls. And also, me me and Chig, we stand, like, numbers apart from numbers. Uh, we, we stand, like, the numbers apart, and we just throw the ball over the shoulder. And, like, we just be playing, like, you know, throwing dimes. Like, we just say we throwing dimes to each other, but, like, just tracking it over the shoulder. We, we worked on that part. We ain't working on the part where I fumbled that, though. I, I got I to gotta clean that up. That ain't me right there. You talking about on defense, we weren't blaming each other. We weren't blaming, putting blame on each other. We just all stuck together. Um, and, unfortunately, we was on the short end of those sticks earlier. Um, but today, we was on the right end of the stick. So, I think everything we did was pretty much the same thing uh, as we been doing all year. Um, DBs is playing better. Last three games, DBs definitely playing better. Um, but we just we just stay together. They, they didn't really try to the offensive ball back, and then they go score, and then you stop them to end the game. What happened on those two drives? How, how, how big did you step up? Oh, uh, it was big. Uh, a lot of those was much needed. We needed to get off the field on those uh, third downs, and we definitely got off the field to get the offense more opportunities to score. You, you said you come up short end of the stick a few times. What's that like? I feel great. Um, it's, uh, we, I haven't, I haven't felt this feeling with this team this year yet. Um, and it was the first feeling. I hope everybody can enjoy it, take it in, and remember how this feels. Um, remember what we did to get this feeling, um, and, and keep it. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't, we don't we don't want to get down those two scores, but I just think that like I don't know it felt like a like the old like Titans team. I feel like like I felt like that's the type of team we are like gritty. You know what I'm saying? Just like no matter what the score is, we're gonna go out there and play all four quarters and make something shake late in the game, and that's what we did tonight. Is it? I mean, obviously, it hasn't been an easy season. Right. How nice is this to get to experience something like this, especially on the road? Oh yeah, for sure. No, that's nice because I mean we hear we hear uh, you know all the hype and you know this that and the other, um, especially you know with the talented offense that they have um, and defense. And I don't know, I just felt like we came out here and we executed at a high level, and that's what happens. We play great defense and we execute at a high level.